Hi everyone. Hi Irie. Here is the photo album that I made for my youngest grandchild and um, it's basically a tag album. I, let's see. It measures, yeah, let's go this way first, it measures 5 by 7 and I used uh, these um, chipboard pieces. I think I got them from Michael's, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, I got these from Walmart. I use these phrase cards in the tags. And then uh, photo mats. This is Colorbox. And the paper pad that I use is Recollections. Mm, let's see. Here we go. Oh, Bold Basics. Collections. Okay, so basically what I did was um, I just used the cut aparts in the uh, the phrase cards to decorate the front. This is where the name is for my grandchild, so I didn't want to put that out there. Uh, it's pretty simple. I just put another piece of paper on here and then the back is plain and there are no pockets on the inside covers because uh, these are all pockets of some nature in here and what I did on this is a little bit different I uh, sewed the pockets into a separate piece of cardstock and then I used some red tape double-sided tape and I guess I can get it in there and Beacon fabric tack glue and attach it to um, the book that way, so you can kind of kind of see it along here to make it a little sturdier. So I just use some white cardstock to to make the basis for this pocket, and this is actually my second book that I did. I didn't like the first one, and it was had a cardstock base. So I just went ahead and pulled the tags out of that and used it in this one. And it didn't do a very good job, but I sewed the uh, ribbon on there. But that's okay. Uh, this right here is, um, I think it's a Fisker's punch. So this side has the pocket. And then the side is just plain. And then on this one, this is a center like a little envelope and here you can see I put the um, phrase cards in here so that uh, his mom can uh, take those out and can decorate use it as she wants and then there's a place here also for um, photos and so each one is just the same thing just a different color this one's purple and so I did three signatures, or yeah, I did three signatures, but I did three pockets in each signature, and then it repeats itself with this pocket, and then the little envelope, and then another pocket. Now you can see, there you can see the um, the edge punch that I used. Can't remember the name of it. So everything, like I say, everything's about the same. And that's what she wanted, something simple and nice. And that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up and send it off tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.